Let's make something together. We'll do it step by step. It's craft time, friends. Guess what we're making today? Bzzz. Some bees. So if you got your kit from the library, this is what you have inside. You have one cardboard tube. You have a large piece of yellow, excuse me. You have two pieces of black. You have one thing that we're gonna make his wings out of. You got two small, little skinny strips of black two red circles, two black circles, and something we're gonna use for his face. I'm not sure bees really have a face like that, but in our imaginations, they do. So let's get started. But the two things you're gonna need at home to make this project is a glue stick and either a marker or a crayon, something black to write with, or it could be any color you like, actually. Are you ready to go to work? Let's get this done. I'm gonna take a, first I'm gonna just gently push this stuff out of my way, because the first thing we're going to do is cover our tube. And an easy way to do that is set it so it's out in front of you. Open your glue stick. And at the edge that's closest to you, the short edge, not the long one, but the short one, I'm gonna put a Oh, you know what I almost forgot? I forgot to put my paper underneath here to protect the table. Ah! We don't want to get glue all over the table. Moms and dads will appreciate it if you're careful. So I'm going to put glue right up and down, just one long or one thick strip of glue, corner to corner. And then I'm going to lay my tube right on top of it and wrap that right up around. Now, I'm making sure that it's even with both edges. Then I'm just gonna roll it up. And then I might tap it down so the edges are nice. And this piece that came around, I'm gonna put some glue right on that again, corner to corner, all the way, a nice thick amount of glue. And I'm gonna wrap that right up. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna rub it and rub it and rub it and rub it because we want our project to last. And just that, look how easy that was. One yellow body, but we need those black stripes. So I'm gonna lay down a black stripe in front of us. And again, right on this short edge, we're just gonna put some glue right across there, right there, nice thick amount. And you can see on this, on the bee, on the bee that I made to show you, on the very bottom, I have this black even, even with the edge. So I like to find that seam where the edge shows and start there. So I'm gonna put it right on the edge again, even with the edge right down to the bottom. And I'm gonna walk that right around. And when I have this sticking out again, more glue. Right on the, right to the edge. Oops. And I'm gonna stick that right on there. And guess what? I'm gonna squeeze it down because I want that glue to make it last. So we have our first bee stripe. Are you ready for the second one? Because here we go. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to lay it down in front of us on the short side. I'm going to put some glue right across there. And this time, did you see I left a yellow space in between here? So I'm going to start again. And this time I'm going to leave about the same amount. This, is, this yellow is almost as wide as the black. So I'm gonna get that on there. I'm gonna wrap it around. Find that edge again. And close that right up. Close it right up. And again, I'm gonna put my thumbs right on and I'm gonna rub and rub and rub. Go back here and make sure that one's still lasting too. So now we have our bee's body done. Now we will work on his head. What a cute little face. So we take out our big circle, our two red circles, our black 
circles. And those two skinny little strips that we have. Ah, they like to stick to your fingers sometimes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take out my marker or my crayon, whatever I have. I'm gonna decide where I want his eyes to be. So I think one right there, and then one right close to it. Can you see that they're kind of on the top? They're not in the middle, they're not on the bottom. Then I'm gonna give him a smile because look at this guy, look how happy he is. I'm going to make a U shape right around like that. Now, when we have small pieces like these circles, I find it easier just to take my glue stick and rub it on the top. And I'm going to place it right on the corner of his smile. And I'll take my other one and I'm going to, again, I'm just going to rub it on the top of my glue. I'm going to stick it on the other side of his smile. Ooh, he's looking happy. What do you think? Let me find it. What? Okay, let's get his antenna on. These are even more skinny and hard to work with. So just the very tip of it, just a little tiny bit. I'm going to wipe it across my glue. I'm going to find the middle of his head. Put it right on there. Do the same thing with the other one, just the tip of it. Wipe it across my glue stick and put it right on like that. Okay, what do you think? Is yours looking something like this now? Okay, so we have these pesty circles again. And I'm gonna be really careful to put glue just on the very edge of it, just the very edge, because I just wanna stick it to that antenna. Then I'm going to do the second one just on the very, very edge and stick it. Now here, we don't want to make a mistake of leaving this. We want to pick this up because we wouldn't want his antennas to get stuck to our piece of paper. So I'm going to turn it over and make sure it has some time to dry. And while that's drying, we have some wings to put on. So here's your wings. Let me move that so you can see it a little better. And right down the middle here, right only in the middle, that's where I'm going to put my glue. So maybe I can show you better. That white on white doesn't show. Right down the middle. It's kind of hard to see because the glue doesn't really show up, but that's just one swipe. Not on the outside here because we want our wings to stick out. We don't want them flat against his body. So I find where that seam is in the back and I line it up and I just push it right on. I'm gonna rub it a couple of times, make sure that glue soaks into the paper. And there, his wings are on. Do you think he needs a head? I think he needs a head. So what I'm gonna do is Right here in the middle on the yellow, I'm just gonna put like a circle of glue because I don't need a heck of a lot. Now I'm gonna put his head just on there. If you look at the back, you can see how much his head is sticking above the edge of his body. You only need, let me put that back on there, he's being a pest, just about that much. Now, I have two bees. Friendly bees, I hope. Bees do a lot of hard work for us. And if you're interested in reading, I'm going to put my cover back on my glue. And you know what? I put my cover back on my marker and I heard the click. That way I know it's really closed. I can clean up my own mess here. Be done with that. I'm gonna put my bees over here. And remember, at the library, we always have bee, um, bee books. Yeah, we have a lot of books. But if you're interested in learning about real bees and how they behave and the kind of work they do, we have books for you. That was a fun craft, wasn't it? 
I wish I could see your bees. Remember, take a picture if you can and send it to me because I love to see your pictures. I love to see your creations. This was fun. See you next time. Mwah.